In this episode, we're talking about how to use intuition in your business. Hi there, my name's Max Simon and welcome to The Big Vision Show. This is all about how you can reach more people and thrive financially. Now, most people don't know something, which is that intuition is an incredibly, incredibly important part of my business. And the reason why that is actually comes from an interesting story that I heard about my dad used to tell, which is that the Sony CEO, during the time that they were like growing leaps and bounds above everybody else, was because the CEO used to get his whole group of executives into a room together. He'd ask them all the questions about the next big idea, the next project, where they were going, and he had a glass of water right in front of him. And what he would do is he would ask every question known to man, and then he would kick everybody out. He would close his eyes, he would drink the glass of water, and whatever hit he got was the direction they decided to go with Sony. And interestingly enough, that was the most record-breaking part of Sony's growth. Well, I remember hearing that and thinking, that's very interesting. I really should think about how to bring more intuition into my business. And since that time, I would go so far as to tell you it's been one of my most prominent guiding forces in making big decisions, knowing what to invest in, and just showing up in a more powerful way. So today I figured we'd talk about the most important things that I've learned about bringing intuition into your business and how it can really help you thrive. Now the first thing just to ask is what is intuition? And I don't know what the formal definition is, but what I'll tell you from my perspective is intuition is that little voice inside of you that's quietly whispering, do this, or go here, or move in that direction. Now the problem is, is that everybody has that little voice, that little presence, and yet mostly people ignore it. Why? Well, I think there's two reasons. One is they've never been trained really to pay attention or to listen to it or even to really tap in. The second reason is just because your mind is totally, completely insane and a thousand times louder than the intuitive voice. So when you get that little hit, all of a sudden your mind comes in and says, no, 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 we're not gonna pay attention to that, and you go this direction. Don't you see where you are? It's so pretty out here. Just relax a little bit. Look, I know I'm tired, but if I don't get it done, when is it gonna get done? Now, the cool thing about intuition, though, is, is that it usually is silently guiding you to what's really true for you, what's really best for you, what's really most aligned for you, and you simply need to be strong enough and willing enough to actually pay attention to it and then follow it. Maybe I should clean up my life a little bit. Yes, you should. So today I'll give you the four steps to really bringing intuition into your business and following that little voice that's guiding you in the right direction. The first thing you have to do is stop. <laughs> but seriously, you need to stop. You need to just be still for a moment because that little quiet voice, it's actually quiet. So if you're constantly moving and doing all the other things, you just won't hear it. The second step is to ask deeper questions like, what is this moment trying to reveal to me? Or what is my guidance trying to tell me? Or what's really true right in this moment? You gotta begin to tap into that kind of more quiet, introspective place by asking some good questions. The third step is to listen to the first answer you get. You see, so many of the times you'll get this answer and then all of a sudden you'll start kicking in with your mind with all these other things, like all the other more logical steps. You gotta just pay attention to the first message, the first answer you receive. And then the fourth step, is to take fast intuitive action. You see, the longer you wait to move on this intuitive hit, the more your mind will justify you out of it. So you've gotta just be willing to say, oh, got it, go. Oh, got it, go. The faster you move from this intuitive place, the more likely you are to actually listen to the guidance you're being given. Now, one of the most important things for you to remember about using your intuition is that most of the time, it's not gonna be logical, it's not gonna fit into your plans, and it certainly won't look like anything you expected it to. That doesn't matter. It still means you should follow it and trust it because it's silently guiding you towards your highest truth. 
So that's what I got for you. I'd love to hear from you today. How do you use your intuition in your business? Or do you use your intuition in your business? Or what are some great tips that you have followed to strengthen your intuition? Please share your comment below. I would certainly love to hear that wisdom from you. And as always, if you are not on the Big Vision Business email list, head on over to bigvisionbusiness.com, sign up. We send you exclusive videos and trainings and all sorts of really cool stuff you'll only get when you're part of the tribe. And if you thought other people in your life would benefit from bringing more intuition into their businesses, please share this with all your friends and always make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your time. I hope this was valuable and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Much love. In this episode, we're talking about how to use intuition in your business. <laughs> I like that little accent came out. All right, we're going with it.